Hello, my name is Robin Harms. I'm here to speak with you about the Kerner Corporation case, a singing office memo, Boomerang. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for your time. And I would like to begin with the question I will discuss today, and that is to describe how Mr. Patterson should style foot to interact positively with his employees and constituents. I would like to begin by discussing how Mr. Patterson's communication style was presented within the, uh, the office memo that was delivered to his 400 managers. Um, he did employ the driver communication style and the expressive communication style. Throughout this memo, he was very dramatic. He used words that were all capital letters. He threatened employees' positions, and he um, he did so in his words to inspire his employees, to um, inspire them to make a change and to um, incorporate his words and become um, improve the work environment with Cor Kerner Corporation. He could flex his style to become a more uh, to present a more positive communication by um, decreasing his assertiveness. He could become more supportive of his employees. He could, um, first of all, offer avenues for improvement, um, showing that the uh, parking lot would being full at 7.30 in the morning is not an avenue for improvement. Um, having the uh, parking lot half full on Saturdays is not an avenue for improvement. Offering concrete pathways for improvement um, would be a more supportive way of presenting his argument. Um, he could also employ a language that was m um, provided much more encouragement for his employees to improve instead of threatening their livelihoods, their employee benefits, and um, threatening to uh, put a freeze on hiring. Um, by presenting a language that was more encouraging, um, he could have enacted a more positive uh, communication. Um, he also could have taken, uh, made a more meditative decision about sending this communication. Um, he could have waited an entire day um, instead of sending it several hours after drafting it. He could have also encouraged several of his um, management team, several members of his management team that he wanted to address, um, read the memo to um, assure that he is delivering the message that he wanted to deliver in a way that would be well received and um, and also very inspiring for his employees in, in a way that would enact the change that he was trying to enact. He could have also um, increased his responsiveness by expressing his own feelings about the company. Um, he could have become more personable in doing this. He could have uh, provided examples of how he was maybe disappointed with the company, uh, disappointed with the performance of his employees as of late, and he could have um, not blamed management for their failures. He shouldn't have to blame management for their their failures um, in, in not allowing their or not um, providing a 40-hour work week as the example he wanted to set. Um, he could have also become more personable in providing a story of his own, uh, perhaps how his background as a farmer's son and working on a farm and spending long hours on a tractor um, helped him to build this great company that they all work at and, um, and how he would like to see this company become uh, the great company that he would like for it to be. Um, he also could have communicated how the improvements in the company begin with the chief executive officer um, and, and that he would take a personal um, stake in the improvements of the company. Um, through these channels, he could have really uh, flexed his communication style to um, communicate a more positive message. Um, in conclusion, I would like to just state that Mr. Patterson um, in this scathing memo did employ a driver and expressive communication style. And that in order to flex these styles, he needed to decrease his assertiveness and increase his responsiveness to uh, project a more positive communication to his employees. Thank you very much for your time. And please forward any questions to me via email. You can reach me at rmharms at gmail.com or through Ramsey email. Thank you very much.